Hey everybody, got another uh, little video. This time, one of the favorite figures in my collection from Fans Project. Um, this is the Causality 01 War, War Cry. Uh, strange name. Uh, old Micro Master Homage. Uh, I have Explorer and Munitioner, the uh, Bruticus upgrades. These guys are just retools of them. Um, obviously got the um, Flame Blast, too. But I like these better than the originals, just because of the paint jobs and the new heads. I don't know. But as you can see... Uh, Warc right here is a little kind of sienna colored Hummer. I do kind of uh, wish that he didn't have these uh, posts on here from the Bruticus foot. But uh, I've seen some people use this and some Energon, um, not Energon, Superlink Bruticus parts to make a uh, Battle Gaia. And I gotta say that's pretty awesome. So don't mind him that much but as you can see he rolls got a little uh, turret and shield here on the front a couple of little canisters on the back they just pop right off and this separates into two pieces not a whole lot of uh, robot junk under there He's just nice. But to transform him, first thing I do is go ahead and loosen up these front parts. Get them out the way. And you have to split the front of the vehicle. It's very tight the way that they designed it. I always feel like I'm going to break it. But you get it all unpegged and loosened up. And as I said, always think I'm going to break it. Rotate legs around. You can see that there's tabs here. There's little slots here on the bottom of the feet. That's uh, how it holds together in vehicle mode. That's why it's so, uh, so tight. Flip down heels. Actually kind of ratcheted. This one's not, but this one is. Just unpeg the back end. And it's on a double hinge, folds back. Pull out on the sides of the vehicle. Just untab, pull down. You can see that he's got a backpack and there's a lot of dead space. You can actually push that in and it makes it where it's not really back heavy. It's pretty good. Flip down his chest. Flip out his head. And there is Fans Project Causality 1 Warcry. Can uh, take his little turret piece flip that around, flip the handle out, and kind of get in here and push. You got a little sight that you can flip up. Take one of the uh, canister pieces, and it just plugs on via some tabs there. That gives him a nice hand cannon. And there's actually little tabs right here that uh, used to hold his arms in place and if you uh, look closely on the handle there you can see there's a raised slot to tab that in so it does fit at a certain angle on the other side just take the front portion 
put that in his hand as kind of a knuckle guard and just use one of these rear slots and tap right into there. And now he's gonna knock the shit out of Rocky. Cool. As you can see, he's very nicely detailed. I do love the grayish silver that they used to show off the tech details. Nice, uh, kind of off-white, light gray coloring throughout him. Little visored head. You can't hardly make it out but there is a tiny little mouth sculpted in there too heads on a uh, ball joint shoulders ball joint elbows are a hinge from the transformation and a ball so can get some thunder punch action he has a waist swivel which Hmm. really isn't hindered. I thought it got stopped by the backpack, but kind of moves around it. Ball jointed hip, swivel, knees got full range of motion due to the transformation. And he has these wonderfully large ball jointed tilt feet. Kind of a variation of the uh, the city commander feet and uh, the classic sound feet. But got a ball joint here and a swivel joint here. I just like keeping him just like this. He's a really nice little figure. Figure. My girlfriend's been giving me shit about that. But if uh, if you're into fans project stuff, if you're into Micro Masters, because this is a uh, Micro Master growl homage, pick it up. If uh, if you liked Munitioner but missed out on him. Pick this guy up. I mean, he uh, he comes with a different gun setup, but I actually like his gun more than the uh, launcher that Munitioner came with. Color scheme looks great on him, and I do like the new head. Uh, um, hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, hope you have a good day. Any questions, comments, suggestions? Corrections on names. If you do that, please use proper grammar. That drives me insane. Y'all have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.